Hello friends, today we are going to discuss the important Wade's rule. In chemistry, polyhydrate skeleton electron pair theory provide electron containing rule useful for predicting the structure of borings and carborings. It is formulated by Wade rule and hence it is called as Wade's rule. In Wade's rule, each BH unit donate two electron skeletal structure. Each CH unit donate three electron. Negative charge on borane gives an electron. Additional hydrogen gives one electron each. There is a simple types of different types of structures. These are the closo, nido, arachno, and hypno. They have the for general formula Bn Hn for closo, BnH n plus 4 for nido, BnH n plus 6 for arachno, and BnH n plus 8 for hypo. And beyond that, there is a clado is there now, recently invented. Skeletal electron pair in close is n plus 1, in nido n plus 2, in arachno n plus 3, and in hypo n plus 4, and in clado n plus 5. These are the examples of the, uh, each of the type of skeletal. The general methodology is to follow the when applying Wade's rule is as follows. In first step, Determination of total number of valence electron from the chemical formula. That is 3 electron per boron, 1 electron per hydrogen. Then subtract 2 electron for each BH unit or CH in carborane. Divide the number of remaining electron by 2 to get the number of skeletal electron pairs. A cluster with n vertices that is n boron atoms and n plus 1 SCP for bonding has a closure structure. SCP means skeletal electron pairs. A cluster with n minus 1 vertices that is n minus 1 boron atoms and n plus 1 skeletal electron pairs for bonding has a nido structure. The cluster has n minus 2 vertices that is n minus 2 boron atoms and n plus 1 skeletal electron pair for bonding has the arachno structure and the cluster with n minus 3 vertices that is n minus 3 boron atoms and n plus 1 skeletal electron pair for bonding has hypostructure. If the number of boron atoms that is n is larger than n plus 1 skeletal electron pair then the extra boron occupies in capping position on the triangular phase. Now, we are going with the help of examples directly. What is the structure of B5HL1? B5HL1 we are taking for our sake of understanding. In the first step, the total number of valence electron, their number of borons are 5, that's why we are taking 5 into B. Plus, 11 hydrogens are there, therefore 11 into H is equal to and for one boron, we, are, we have to consider three electrons and for hydrogen, we have to consider one electron and therefore 5 into 3 plus 11 into 1 is equal to 26. The number of electron for each BH units, it is 5 into 2, that is 10. The number of skeletal electron is 26 minus 10 is equal to 16. The number of skeletal electron pair is equal to 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8. If n plus 1 is equal to 8 and n minus 2 is equal to 5, then boron atom, then n is equal to 7. The structure n is equal to 7 is a pentagonal bipyramid. And therefore, B5HL1 is an arachno based upon the pentagonal bipyramid with two apexes missing. Right? This is a simple illustration. Now we are taken for the different derivative of boron, that is B5H9 for our understanding again. Total valence electron in B5H9 is equal to 5 into B, that is 5 into 3, plus 9 into 1, therefore it is 24. Number of electron for each BH atom, 5 into 2, 10. Number of skeletal electron, 24, minus 10 is equal to 14. Number of skeletal electron pair is equal to 14 by 2 is equal to 7. B5 are 5 and 
the SCP is 7, therefore difference is a 2, that is n plus 2. So, if n plus 1 is equal to 7 and n minus 1 is equal to 5, boron atoms, then n is equal to 6, right? The structure of n is equal to 6 is a octahedral and therefore B5H9 is a Nero structure based upon the octahedral structure with one apex missing. That is very important to understand only the uh, closer Nero arachno as well as the shape of a molecule, the shape of a complex and therefore it is very much important. You know, nowadays, that recently the number of, they are asking in the different computer exams, the examiner asks the question on the shape of the molecule, not on the closer Nero arachno. He is go ahead to that and he he always asks the question the shape of a molecule. In that other case, we must know the shape of the molecule. That in the case of B5H11, it is a pentagonal bipyramid, while in the case of B5H9, it is a octahedral structure, right? Okay. Next, again, the third example we are going to understand that is B6H62 minus. In the case of B6H62 minus, the total valence electron is equal to 6 into 3 plus 3 into 1 that is 26 and the electron per BH units, the boron are 6, therefore 6 into 2 is equal to 12 and in last step 26 minus 12 is equal to 14 and skeletal electron pair 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. Again, if n plus 1 is equal to 7 and n boron's atom that is n is equal to 6, then Structure of n is equal to 6 is the octahedral and therefore B6 is 6 to minus is a closed structure based upon an octahedral structure. Then the weight is rule for metal cluster. Now we are going to understand the recent hot cake in which the number of questions are asked in a different examinations and we must know these such type of their shapes. So where it should for metal cluster, cluster we must uh, remember use these for uh, determining the shape of a molecule, shape of a cluster molecule and they are important. The polyhedral skeletal electron pair theory provides an electron counting rule useful for predicting the structure of cluster such as borane's carborane cluster known as Wade's rule or Wade mingo rule. It is also known as Mingo's rule. So, electron count 4n minus 2, it is named as bicap closo and predicted structure n minus 2 vertex closo polyhydron with two capped faces. If it is electron counting 4n, then it is named as capped closo and predicted structure n minus 1 vertex closo polyhydron with one faced cap. Then 4n plus 2, it is a closo, closo polyhydron with n vertices. 4n plus 4 nido n plus 1 vertices vertex close polyhedron with one missing vertex. 4n plus 6 arachno uh, n plus 2 vertex close polyhedron with two missing vertices. 4n plus 8 hypo n plus 3 vertex close polyhedron with three missing vertices. And 4n plus 10 clado n plus 4 vertex close polyhedron with four missing vertex. When counting electron from each cluster, the number of valence electron is enumerated. Where's rule for metal cluster? For each transient metal present, 10 electrons are subtracted from the total electron count. For example, in RS6CO16, the total number of electrons would be 6 rhodium, therefore the valence electron of rhodium is 9, therefore 6 into 9 plus 16 CO, coba, carbon, carbonyl uh, ligands are there, so 16 to 2 minus 6 into 6 are the number of rhodium, 6 is the metal, 6 into 10 is equal to 86 minus 6 into 10 is equal to 26. In this way, we have to take a 10 electron are subtracted from the total electron count. So, therefore the cluster is, cluster is closo polyhydron because n is equal to 6 with 4n plus 2. When we are putting n is equal to 6, then it is become 26. Now, it is become 4n plus 2 and therefore it is a closed polyhedron. 
Then again, we are taking a second example for our more understanding. Pb to minus 10. Okay. In, the, in this case, the electron count of 10 into Pb plus 2, plus 2 for negative charge. 2 negative charge is there. Therefore, 10 into 4, 4 is the valence electron of Pb, Pb from the carbon family. So, 4 valence electrons are there in the Pb. So, 10 into 4 plus 2 is equal to 4, 42. Since number of Pb atoms are 10, that is n is equal to 10. Therefore, how we can do the calculation? 10 into 4, 40 plus 2. That is, it will become 4n plus 2. That is 42, right? So, the cluster is again closed by capped square antiprism. Right? So, other example we have to solve. That is, B5H4 minus H5 O4 minus and second example O6 CO ATU. Then rule number 5. 5N electrons. When 5N electrons are there, the N vertex 3 connected polyhedron. Then 5N plus 1 electron is there. N minus 1 vertex 3 connected polyhedron with 1 vertex inserted into the H. For 5N plus 2, N minus 2 vertex Three connected polyhedron with two vertex vertices inserted into the edges and phi n plus k is n minus k vertex three connected polyhedron with k vertices inserted into the edges. For example, we are taking the simple simple examples p four s three. Four are the phosphorus into p and three into s yes, sulfur that is phosphorus. It is from nitrogen family, so it has the outermost electronic uh, electrons are five. Therefore, four into five plus three into sulfur. Sulfur from the oxygen family, and the valence electron from sul of sulfur is six. Therefore, three into six is equal to thirty-eight, and it is uh, it thirty-eight. How we can do this? Five n, five n. N is equal to how many? Five n plus three structures with n is equal to seven. We have 7 into 5 35 plus 3 38 right so if n is equal to 7 because phosphorus and sulfur both are the metals and we are considered total number of metals therefore n is equal to 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 right so the three vertices are inserted into the edge again we are taking the next example p4o6 in which the again the electron count of phosphorus 4 into p then that means 4 into 5 plus 6 into O, oxygen 6. So total number of become 4 into 5 plus 6 into 6 is equal to 56. And it is 5n plus 6 structures with n is equal to 4 plus 6, that is 10. So how we can do this? 10 into 5, 50 plus 6, 56. It become 5n plus 6. And 6 vertices are inserted into the edge, right? So, these are the simple questions, such type of questions now recently asked in your uh, CSIR net examination for 4 marks. So, it is very much important to understand, to do the practice of such type of problems. So, if you are solved the number of problems, it will get very easily under understandable for you. And this is our attempt to understand, to make you aware of all these concepts in a simple and simple way. Okay. Then again, the next rule is the rule number six, that is, in which the total electrons count is in the terms of six n. First, in the first rule, we are learned in a case of four n, then five n, and now we are learning in the aspects of in the series of six n. First, six n minus k no, n number of rings with k by two transannular bonds. Six n minus four n member ring with two transannular bonds. 6n minus 2, n member ring with one transhandler bond, 6n, n member ring, 6n plus 2, n member ring chain, n member ring with one broken bond. For example, again, we are taken sulfur 8, yes, 8. Now, this question has been asked in a previous last year examination in December 2019. So, S8, yes, electron count for S8 yes, is 8 into S, yes, into 6. It is 48. 
8 sulfurs are there and 8 into 6 48 right so since n is equal to 8 it will become 6n is equal to 48 and so 6n that means so the cluster is 8 member ring n number n member ring that is the cluster is 8 member ring hence again the next example C6H14. The electron count of C6H14 is equal to 6 into C. The valence electron for carbon are 4 plus 14 into H that is 1. So it will become 38 since N is equal to 6 because only the metal is carbon. So 6N is equal to 36 and 6N plus 2 is equal to 38. Our count is 30, total electron count is 38. So 6n plus 2 we have. Now 6n plus 2 means 8 member ring chain, no sorry, 6 member chain with one broken bond. 6 member chain, so the cluster is a 6 member chain with one broken bond. Okay. Now these are the another thing we are going to learn to understand, to find the number of metal metal bond. No? different complexes. These questions are asked in your frequently for the different types of every type of a, uh, computer exam, uh, CSI NET, SET, GET, PET, PAD and other, all other computer examiners such type of questions is frequently asked. The number of metal metal bond in W2 OPS6 is 1, 2, 3 and 4. For sake of understanding, well, I am directly giving you the two types of carbonyl clusters are there. The number of metal metal bond are based on the following types. First is LNCC, that is low nuclearity carbonyl cluster, where N is equal to, that is the number of metal atoms are 1, 2, 3, 4. And when the number of metal atoms are more, 5 or more than 5, then it is included in HNCC, that is high nuclearity carbonyl cluster. Then first LNCC, low nuclearity carbonyl cluster, first is a total, calculate the total electron count. A is equal to number of valence electron of metal plus the electron contributed by the ligand and plus minus charge. B is equal to N into 8, 18 minus A, where N is equal to number of metal atoms and B divided by 2 is equal to number of metal metal bond in the complex. Directly we are getting from B by 2 value, number of metal metal bond or either from C, where C is equal to A by small n where number of metal metal bond per metal they are given right either by evaluating b by 2 or either by calculating c we are directly getting the number of metal metal bonds next if now if we are evaluating c then if c is equal to 18 the number of metal metal bond are 0 if c is equal to 17 the number of metal metal bond is 1 if C is equal to 16, it is 2. And C is equal to 15, it is a 3. Directly we are going for the example MN2CO10 in which A is equal to 2. Number of manganese are 2, therefore 2 into 7. The valence electron from manganese is 7 plus 10 into 10 number of carbon atom and the one co electron contribution for one carbon is 2, therefore 10 into 2. Therefore 14 plus 20 is equal to 34. This is the value of A. From the A we have to calculate B in which we have to consider the N into 18 minus A. Therefore N is equal to number of metal atoms and N is equal to MN it is 2. Therefore 2 into 18 minus 34 it will become 2. Then B by 2 therefore 2 by 2 it will become 1 and therefore the metal metal bond is a single bond. Again by we are trying to calculate the C in which A divided by small n therefore 34 divided by and it, the value will become 17. Therefore, if C is equal to 17, the number of metal metal bond are 1 as shown before. And therefore, the structure is, we can easily draw the structure. The structure is MN, single bond MN and how many? The 10 carbon are there. 5 carbon for one up, one MN, 5 carbon to the another MN. And this gives the simple structure of MN to CO10. Then we are considering the second example W2 OPS6. That is the question has been asked in our exam. 
So A is equal to 2 into 6 plus 6 into 3. So simply we can say the 6 OPH units, they are every one contributing 3 electrons. So 6 into 3 plus uh, 6 valence, uh, electrons from the valence electron from W and 2 are their number. So 20 plus 18 is equal to 30 and B is equal to 2 into 18 minus 13. 36 minus 30 is equal to 6 and B by 2 is 3. Therefore, the number of metal metal bonds are 3. We can simply calculate W, triple bond W and 3 OPH for one W and another 3 OPH for another W. That means there is the equal distribution of ligand that is OPH to the to both of the tungsten, uh, tungsten atom. Right? Or C is equal to A by 2 that is 30 by 2 is equal to 15. Therefore, 3 metal metal bonds are formed in that and the structure is simply W triple bond W and 3 OPH OPH are attached to it. Now, the number of metal metal bonds in IR4CO12 is, it is again for 4 marks. So, simply we can calculate A is equal to IR4 that means it is come under a LNCC low nuclearity carbonyl cluster and therefore A is equal to 4 into 9 plus 20 to 2 therefore 36 plus 24 is equal to 60. B is equal to 4 into 18 minus 60, 72 minus 60 is equal to 12 and B by 2 is equal to 6, therefore 6 metal metal bonds. Then we are going to learn the next formula that is HNCC. Calculate, in HNCC, calculate the TC first, that is total electron count first, then electron count for interstitial atom, that means the interstitial atoms are generally added into the complex, therefore like hydrogen, it, it includes one electron, carbon for four electron, nitrogen 5 electron and phosphorus 5 electron. Each metal utilizes 20 electron for non-skeletal bonding. That is important concepts. Calculate the PEC that is polyhedral electron count. It is PEC is equal to TEC minus N into 12 that is 12 electron from non-skeletal bonding. Therefore, we are taking this and then PEC by 2 is equal to X. If X is equal to N, then x is equal to n plus 1, it is closo. If x is equal to n plus 2, it is nero. n plus 3 is equal to arachno and n plus 4 is equal to hypno. On the basis of that, we can simply find the number of metal metal bond or type of structure. Then we are taking as a first example that is OS5C CO15, in which T is the total electron count is equal to 5 into 8, 5 is the number of OH atom. So, we are taking 5 into 8 plus 4, 4 for carbon and 15 into 2, that is 15 CO carbon ligands are there and each ligand contributed 2 electrons. Therefore, 44 plus 30 is equal to 74. So, polyhedral electron count is equal to 74 minus 12 into 5, that is 5 is the number of OH atom is equal to 14. The PC by 2 is equal to 7. Therefore, it is OSR5 and our PEC count is 7. So, difference is N plus 2 and therefore, simply we can see it is a Nido type of structure. Then, it is for you again, you have to find the structure of these CO4, CO12 and of the which type of structure that is the homework for you. Then, TEC 4 into 9 plus 20 to 2 is equal to 36 plus 20 60, PEC 12, PEC by 2 6. Therefore, n plus 2 again it is a nero type of structure. Then again, the next question according to Wade's rule, an ion C2B9H12 minus adopt. Again, simply we can say another method I, I want to mention you the another method of understanding, another method of uh, identification of structure the, of any uh, com, uh, cluster compounds. The shape of skeleton is nero type. Another simple method I can mention you C12, C2B9H12, 2C is equal to 2BH, right? Because both are four electrons are there. Therefore, formula become B11. Instead of C2B9H12, it will become B11 and H14. Therefore, the difference between them, boron and hydrogen, how many boron and hydrogen are three only, and therefore one and one negative charge is there again. And therefore it will become four. And therefore, four elect electrons, that means two pair of electrons. Four electrons mean two pair, therefore n plus two, that is a needle. Then again, complex, again the question is there, this question, HMCO5 and hepticity is given, not given there, eta C5H5 M-CO3 twice 
obey 18 electron rule identify m and m dash if their chemical shifts are relative to the pms first example hmco5 electron contribution of hydrogen is 1 electron contribution of 5 carbon are 10 therefore total electrons are 11 so 7 electrons are required the configuration s2 and d5 in which mn has the configuration uh, 3d4 uh, 3d5 for s2 and it is a mn so m is equal to mn so another example second example eta c5h5 m dash co3 twice electron contribution of eta 5 is 5 at maximum 5 contribution from 3 carbon is 6 and one metal metal bond one total number of electrons are 12 therefore six electron required that is the electronic configuration must be the configuration of chromium and it's simple example mn and chromium are there next is the total valence electron count and the structure type adopted by the complex fe5 co12 co15 c respectively the valence electron of the metal 8 into 5 is equal to 14 the total electron count is equal to valence electron count plus 15 to 2 Plus four is equal to forty. Plus thirty. Plus four is equal to seventy-four. Electron used for non-scalar bonding. Five into twelve is equal to sixty. Therefore, seventy-four minus sixty by two. Therefore, seven. And the F five and seven. There is difference between n plus two. Therefore, it is nido in structure. Next question: The W W bond order in W it of C five H five mu C L. That is, Brigitte. Remember, chlorine is in Brigitte position in this compound. C O two twice is. Three, two, one, zero. A is equal to two into six plus five plus three plus two into two is equal to thirty-six. B is equal to two into eighteen minus thirty-six is equal to zero. Therefore, B by two is zero by two. Therefore, zero. There is no bond. Therefore, the bond order definitely zero. The structure of non-carbonyl cluster, as like boron and carbonyl, same rule is applied. N plus one closure that is monocap. And remember these monocap, bicap, tricap, and tetracap. Nido means bicap, arachno means tricap, and hypno means tetracap. We are taking the example OS10C, CO24, two minus OS10 are there, 10 to 8, 80 electron, carbon four, CO24, two into 2, 48, and negative 40 into 2, therefore 2, 2 are there, 2 into 8, 8 carbon, 4, CO24 into 2, 48, and negative charge two, therefore two to total electron count is 134. Total electron count is equal to 12 into n. Plus two into n plus one is equal to n is equal to number of metal atom. Number of metal atom are ten. Therefore, one thirty four is equal to twelve into ten plus two into n plus one. So, in which small n is equal is equal to six, big n is equal to ten, and the difference is uh, n dash is equal to n plus four, and it is n plus four. That means it is a hypo, or we can say it is a tetra cap structures. Then again, the next example was six co eighteen. In which six into eight forty eight, CO four thirty six. So T C become eighty four. T C is equal to twenty two n plus two into n plus one. N is equal to n number of metal atoms eighty four, and twenty two six plus two into n plus one. N is equal to five. N is equal to six. N dash is equal to n plus one. It is mono cap. Then again, the number of the correct combination of metal number of number of carbon ligands and the charge on the metal complex. M C O X Z minus satisfy the 18 electron rule. Rule is M is equal to T titanium and X is equal to six and Z is equal to one. How we can find this? There is simple answer among the complex V C O six one minus and M is equal to V X is equal to six and Z is equal to one. 18 electron among them. Uh, simply I have calculated all these. I have put the values of all these and find in which the When an 18 electron rule is followed by second option, that is B is equal to V, X is equal to six, and J is equal to one. Again, the incorrect statement of Jaycee salt is Jaycee salt is diamagnetic. Oxidation state of platinum is Jaycee salt plus two. All the platinum chlorine bond length in Jaycee salt are equal. Carbon-carbon bond length in ethylene moiety in Jaycee salt is longer than the free ethylene molecule. The answer is the inner Jaycee salt two platinum chlorine bond length are equal out of plain. Out of the three, the two chlorine bonds are, are always equal, and therefore the C option, correct option, is C. And these these are the all the questions. They are from the previous examinations. Are so much important to understand the basic basic concepts of organometallic chemistry. At least eight to ten marks are secure. You can very easily secure for under by understanding these YouTube video. So this is my attempt 
to make you aware all these such type of questions in the next version of our different computer exams and i i comes to realize that definitely you can i can help you to learn or to understand the more and more basic concepts in organometallic chemistry that is all about the uh, different uh, rules and regulations uh, weights rule thank you